when you're mentally bat battling with uh, you know general things in life, um, you know things like having to write in the next 30 years of my daughter's birthday cards. These types of things are really challenging to commit yourself because it's sort of putting your hand up and saying, yeah, right, I'm probably going to die very shortly. So racing takes away that. And it gives me a cancer-free experience when I'm behind the race car, a wheel of a racing car. I, I'm just focused on what's outside the windscreen and I feel normal. I feel like I was. And uh, it's really uplifting with some good results as well, which I've had in the, in the last you know, few race meetings. There's also, and of course with Brody's win, putting me on the podium, you know, those are moments of life I will I'll never forget. And, um, you know, it's just when it's, when it's, you know, late, late morning hours, when you're waking up in pain, those are types of experiences what will help you get through it. And I think also it's important for me to, to not feel sick the whole time, you know, to be sitting on the couch. Because I think if you sit on the couch, you feel sicker than what you really are. You're out there doing it. Yeah, you know, some days I don't want to get out of bed because I'm in pain or I'm so tired. But um, you know, this gives me a reason to get out of bed. Gives me a reason to go race a car. Gives me a reason to stay fit. Uh, and um, you know, these things are uh, things which I'm utilising in my fight against this cancer. But you know, there's just not a lot known about this cancer, and there's no solution really. The world's found. I mean, there has been solutions for individual people. Um, and I think it's, this is a thing. I, I believe internally that there is a, something can fix me out there in the world and it's just a matter of finding it. So then my hardest thing is having time and staying well enough to be able to fight it. You know, the cancer thing has been obviously a, um, you know, your worst nightmare. Anybody's worst nightmare, I'm sure. You know, with a brand new family, you know, really exciting year with the cars, performance, and then to have to step out to, um, you know, and, and come to terms with a, a potential death imminent, you know, in the next few months, it's, it's, it's really uh, frightening uh, it's just to some degree. But, you know, I've taken away from this year so far the chance to be able to spend more time with my family, spend more time, you know, smell the flowers, as they say. So, you know, I've slowed right down. I've, I've got a different life going, different priorities. Charlotte, my wife and I just get on so much better than we ever have done. I think that's because, you know, we don't fight over the little things anymore. You know, like the, this whole thing scaled everything in perspective. Um, you know, I've had the opportunity to catch up with so many more friends and people. And the Bid for Jace uh, functions, you know, there's from the horse racing at Sandown and the Witches and Britches night we had the other night. There have been um, fun events where lots and lots of my friends have been at and, and supporters. So, you know, we're a like-minded group having fun together. And, um, you know, I don't think we do that enough these days. And so, yeah, it's been a, an enjoyable time. I've done some amazing things. I've driven lots of different race cars, not just V8 supercars. And, and I've seen my team get on the podium and I've, um, you know, been to the States and seen around Detroit and, and Michigan and, and things which, you know, I wouldn't have gone that way unless cancer had taken me. So, look, it hasn't been all bad. Um, and, uh, you know, I've had an enjoyable year. The best part of my year will be obviously if I get a chance to, to put this cancer in its place. I, I accepted it early on. Um, you know, I didn't live in, uh, you know, I believe, you know, I've got cancer. It's a very rare cancer, it's very aggressive. The prognosis is poor. You know, like I accepted the facts. So I'm going to try and change the facts, you know. I'm, I'm, I said it went out and set up a plan of attack and worked out what the key elements are, who are the key people in the world I need to speak to, and went out and did that. Uh, and then I realised that, you know, time's precious to me now, so I've got to enjoy the rest, the rest, next part of my life. Uh, and so you pluck out of that what's the most important part of your life. And uh, obviously my two young kids, I get to spend a lot more time with them. I get to see a lot more cool things. And the support, uh, I've said this several thousands of times, but the support Everybody have given me, it's been unbelievable. I'm gonna make up like a thief if I get well, you know what I mean? Like it's been a, an incredible journey um, to see people who are close to you, you know, offer support from cooking us meals, loaning us exotic race cars or, or, or road cars to drive around and it just making my life a little bit better, a little bit nicer than what it once was. And um, so I can never thank everybody enough for that, that journey, but um, you know, I don't know, you know, I've been positive because I think you have to be 
don't get me wrong, you know, I mean, there's been days where I've been crying. I've never shed so many tears in my life. I cry at anything now, you know, like a sad TV program gets me going. I'm very emotional and it's brought out a lot of raw emotions which I, you know, used to store inside me. Um, and uh, it's been, you know, with Bridie winning and races, you know, that's made me cry. Things which probably wouldn't normally make me cry, you know, I'm really in touch with those emotions. And I think it's, um, it's been quite, it's quite, uh, it's quite freeing, I guess, of the soul. Come so close to running Bathurst so many times, and this has to be my best chance. I mean, we've stacked the deck in our favour a little bit, having, uh, I guess, you know, with Bridie and myself being able to be his and his co-driver. Um, and I just can't wait to get there. My, my biggest challenge in life at the moment is being well enough to do that race. And, you know, I'm a risky uh, investment, really, because every day, every week is, is quite a different day for me. So I have to take every day as they come, and hopefully by Bathurst I'll be well enough to race the car. Um, and I think this is the beautiful thing about our championship. It gets lost because we get so competitive. But I think ultimately we really enjoy each other's company. We, we get behind each other when we're down. Um, and we are part of a bigger family. It's not so much about, um, about you know, the winning, the fighting talk, you know, that is all for the track. That's all the, the, amp, the marketing, the amping it up before we get to a race meeting. But I think ultimately when we get ourselves down and, uh, you know, one person's down, I think everybody rallies around to, to help that person up. And, and I, th I think what, what I've gone through and I guess what the sport's demonstrated to me is that, um, yeah, the sport's got a very big heart.